Today we're going to talk about how to use the mean value theorem for integrals. And in this particular problem, we've been asked to show that f of x assumes the value 4 at least once on the interval 1 to 3, given that the area under the curve from 1 to 3 is equal to 8. So the mean value theorem for integrals is just adapted from the mean value theorem for derivatives in combination with the fundamental theorem of calculus. And the theorem basically is given to you in two parts here, and it looks a little confusing, but basically what you should recognize is that you have a couple of components here. You have the formula for the average value of the function, so f average, or the average value of the function on the range a to b, is given by this here, 1 divided by b minus a times the integral from a to b of the function. So this is the average value of the function here, and what you say is that if the average value of the function on the range, we'll just call it f of c, then the area under the curve between a and b is f of c, the average value, times b minus a, and, and b and a are um, identified in the interval here, 1 to 3, so a is 1 and b is 3. So really all the formula is telling you is that there's a point c, so we have f of c here, but there's a point C where the value of the function is the same as the average value of the function on that range. That's all it means. So what we're asked to say here in our problem is to show that the value of the function takes on the value 4 at least once in the interval. And we can do that using the mean value theorem for integrals. So essentially, it's as simple as this. In order to prove that the function assumes the value 4 at least once on the interval 1 to 3, we use the second half of this formula here. And essentially we say we know that this part, f of x dx, the integral of f of x dx, on this interval 1 to 3 is equal to 8. So we're going to plug that in for this part here of our formula, the integral of f of x dx on the range a to b. That's essentially the same thing. So they're telling us it's equal to 8. We're going to plug in 8 for this piece. So we say 8 is equal to f of c is going to be the value of the function at the point c. So we'll go ahead and leave that alone for now. And we know that our interval is 1 to 3. So we're going to multiply by 3 minus 1. And all we're doing here now is solving for f of c. So what we get, obviously, is 8 equal to 3 minus 1 is just 2. So we get 2 times f of c. We divide both sides by 2, and we get 4 equals f of c. And what this tells us, we've used the mean value theorem for integrals to show that the function takes on the value 4 at least once in the interval 1 to 3, given that the area under the curve between 1 and 3 is equal to 8. So that's how we use the mean value theorem to prove that the function takes on the value 4 at least once in the interval. And keep in mind that even if we weren't given this value, f equals 4, we could have still plugged in 8 and plugged in 3 and 1 to our formula here and solved for f of c, and that would have given us the average value of the function. So in other words, if you know the area under the curve on the interval, and you know the interval, then you can find the average value of the function, f of c, because f of c is equal to the average value of the function. And therefore, this tells you that the average value of the function on the range 1 to 3 is 4, and that the function assumes the value for at least once in that interval. So you essentially kill two birds with one stone. This gives you two pieces of information. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.